Shall we take a visit to the land of gnomes and fairies? Gnomes in Fairyland particularly uh, like this beer. So do I, it's a right Bobby Dazzler. This is a cracker. This is brilliant. This is Belgian beer at its finest. Le Chouf. From the Brasserie de Chouf in the middle of the Ardennes in Belgium. Um, this beer first came about in 1982. And at first, uh, the two brother in laws who uh, brewed this beer, people thought it was a hobby. But this has just gone from strength to strength. This is a cracker. This is a must drink beer. You've got to try this beer. And, you know, some of you might not like it, but I reckon the majority of you will. This is a, this is a fantastic beer. This is Belgian, Belgian beer at its finest, in my opinion. You know, this is an 8% blonde beer. And even better, look at the cracking glass. Look at the cracking La Chouf glass to drink this fantastic beer from. You know, it is your day. And these glasses, they're all designed to get the maximum flavour and taste of these beers. They're not a gimmick. It's not a marketing ploy. They are specifically designed to give you the best sensation while drinking their beer. Look at that, how that's poured in there. Oh, look at it. That is how I like to have a Le Chouf served to me in Belgium, Holland, or even in, in, in the UK. Like this, in the glass. Good two inch head on it. You, you know, when it turns up in, your, in front of you like that, and they will always, always put the bottle down in front of you and the glass down in front of you with the emblems, with the bottle label will always face you when they serve that beer and the emblem on the glass will always face you when they serve the beer to you. A little thing, you know, in this country, I just, like this country, I bet you in some of these pubs, they chuck this in a pint glass, you know, I ain't got a clue yet, but out there, they certainly know how to like present a beer to you. Now let's, let's, let's get some straight away. You can smell some hops in there, but you can smell coriander. Now coriander is a big, big thing in in in, in a lot of blonde beers, um, and you're gonna probably gonna taste some. The taste of a little shoof. Lots of fruity tones. You can taste pineapple, grapefruit, lychees, um, citrus notes. Yeah, lots of fruitiness with that fresh coriander taste. It's very, very, very uh, coriander taste in this. And it's good. This is a good beer. You can feel that it's a it's an eight percent beer. There's a slight heaviness to it, um, but it's refreshing. It's it's drinkable. It's it's beautiful. Hot. I love this beer. This beer is just perfect. You know, I've had this on tap and I've had it in bottle, and it's just. It's just a beautiful beer. You can drink this um, on a sunny afternoon. You know, thirty. I've, I've, I've drunk this in thirty degree heat while sitting at a cafe outside, 
and thoroughly enjoyed it. Now you wouldn't think an 8% beer on a real hot day would be the sort of thing you want to go for really but I'll tell you what, a, a nice cold one of these to sup away. Now this is not a, a drink that you're going to be necking, this is a sipping drink, you know, you're going to enjoy every sip of this drink um, from start to finish. This is fantastic. This needs to be in the supermarkets, you know. You're only going to pick this up from specialist beer shops, which is, which is a damn shame, really. This should be on the shelves of every supermarket in the UK, so people can just go and enjoy it. But, don't drink it from a pint glass. Don't drink it from a silly pills glass, something like that. You need a bulbous glass for this drink. Um, if you haven't got... A chalice, a chalice is fantastic, a chalice, a tecu glass, um, if you haven't got any of those, a, a big red wine glass, that will do it, you, you want you want that, you, that bulb, that bulb there, it's sort of, and it narrows in a bit, which holds the head, and produces a good flavour, and it's, and the smell, and you, it, it, that, that's what helps you enjoy the beer. It is so, so good. The balance of the, the fruity notes with the coriander and even the percentage of the 8%, it's just right. You know, if, if this was a 6% beer or 5% beer, it wouldn't work. The same as if it was a 10% beer, it wouldn't work. It, it is, it's just, Perfect in if, if, every note. Um, I can't wait to go and visit the. I'm out that way in the, in the summer, and I can't wait to go and visit the brewery actually for the day. Um, I'm down in the Ardennes in in uh, July, and yeah, I can't wait to visit this brewery, you know, and have a chat with the guys there and and that sort of thing. But this is this is good. This is a good beer. Go out, buy it, try it. Um, and as always, you know. Beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. And until next time, thank you, good night.